Hello folks, this is Troy with VTwins, the V8s.com, this uh, website. I'm just here to give you an update and do a little how-to video on saving a little bit of money and doing your um, engine cases over. So what I got going on is, if, if you followed me or not, it doesn't really matter. I'm doing an old 70s style down, down and out Sportster, and I'm trying to do it on a budget so when I'm done with it I can, you know, make some money on it or at least get out of it without getting beat up too bad. So the situation that I have here is I've got a lot of parts, but I don't have a lot of good parts. I mean, I've got rocker boxes that are chrome, I've got side covers that are aluminum. I don't have a whole bunch of, I don't have a complete set of chrome. I don't have a complete set of aluminum that, that I can use. So what I've decided to do is mix and match and come up with some ideas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and make my rock bottom of my rocker box gloss black along with the top. I'm going to keep the D-ring, which is good, chrome, so we get a little accent there. Um, I'm going to take and paint my side covers because I got this chrome cover, but it's got some rust on it. Um, so I can't use that. I can't get a chrome side cover for this side. I just can't find one uh, because the sports that I have is a is an '89 and it's a it's a very narrow year and only they they only fit from '87 to 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 '90 and trying to find a chrome one, I just haven't been able to find one. I mean, I could buy a new one, but I'm not going to spend that kind of money on it. So what I've decided to do was I decided to uh, take my side covers and I'm going to paint them. And I'm going to accent them in chrome. I'm going to paint them gloss black. I'm probably going to do some pinstriping or something to that effect on them. And um, all of my hardware and my plugs and stuff will be chrome. So, just to give you a little close-up on this, this is what I got. This is my side cover. It's got a little road rash here and here where the bike must have went down at some point in time. So I'm going to replace these with chrome along with all of my bolts are going to be chrome. This is going to be gloss black. Same with my... Um, my uh, cam cover here, I'm going to do the same exact thing here with this. I'm going to do the same thing with these rocker boxes. You can see where they're, they're pitted and peeling and stuff like that. So to sandblast these, I'm also going to do these lifter blocks. To sandblast these, I want to make sure that I don't damage surfaces that are critical um, for gasket sealing, like these areas here. And I don't want to have all of this sand inside my rocker boxes and everything because it's just going to destroy the engine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to wash all this stuff down super, super good with, um, with either lacquer thinner or a pre-cleaner wash. And then I'm going to take uh, duct tape and I'm going to duct tape everything that I don't want to be sandblasted or have sand in it. Once I'm done with all that, I'm going to take this stuff outside, I'm going to get suited up, I'm going to sandblast all this stuff lightly. So I don't have to peel everything off of this, but I do have to rough it up pretty good so I can, I can put some self-etching primer on there and some paint and um, some urethane primer. I'll sand it down and I'll paint it a nice, nice gloss black so it looks as good as any car going down the road. And um, that's going to be it. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to get all this stuff all taped up. Uh, cleaned up and taped up and we'll get the sandblaster out and we'll just kind of have at it. Thanks.